What is up guys and welcome back to the channel. Thank you for stopping in. Uh, today, as you could read in the title, I am teaching you guys how to build an arrow. Now, I'm going to do this in four points. First, I'm going to tell you what you need, like all of the equipment that you need, and everything that I do say you need and everything that I use, I'll link in the description so you guys will uh, know what I use. Uh, next, I'm going to tell you how to prep the arrow to get it ready to be fletched. <laughs> And then I'm going to tell you how to assemble the arrow and how to put all the parts together and everything that we're going to be using, I'm going to tell you how to put that together. And then after that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you little tips that can, uh, that can help you and help the life of your arrow and let the fletchings kind of adhere to everything a little bit better so the overall lifespan of the arrow is just a little bit longer. Okay, so first things first, you will need a fletching jig. Now, some uh, video will be coming up somewhere in here to where you see all the equipment that is there. But you're going to need a fletching jig, and you're going to need an arrow. And then you're going to have to have, I'm going to be using wraps in this. That also helps uh, prolong the life of the arrow shaft. And I would definitely recommend to use wraps. So you need the wraps of your choice, the fletchings of your choice, <clears throat> uh, fletching glue, your fletching jig. So just that's like the basics that you're going to need. So another really important thing that you're going to need is also the knock. But most arrows come with knocks that fit into the arrow shaft so you shouldn't really have to go out and buy those unless you had old arrows and one the knock got knocked out of it or something and you just needed another knock for it but either way all arrow shafts when you buy them they should come with knocks so you shouldn't have to worry about that but it's definitely a necessity okay so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to need to prep the arrow now how I always prep the arrow and uh, there's a bunch of other people who are on YouTube who this is kind of where I got this from is I just take a cotton ball and then isopyric alcohol and clean the shaft and there will be a video of a shaft that is uh, completely clean and you can see the shininess of the actual carbon just to show how clean I, I try to get them okay so now it goes back to kinda this is kinda still prepping it it goes back to what I said in the beginning how arrow wraps aren't needed but we're using them in this video <clears throat> as you can see here I'm putting an arrow wrap onto the arrow shaft and this is how you properly do it ideally you want to use a mouse pad to do this but all I had in this uh, situation was a folder, so that's what I was able to use. And that still works just as good. But if you have a mouse pad, just for like a computer mouse, I would definitely try to use that if at all possible. Okay, so now that we just prepped the arrow and it's completely ready, we're going to start assembling it. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is, like I said with the knock, you're going to want to seat it into the actual fletching jig. And that's what I'm doing in this video right here is I'm seating the, the knock of the arrow into the fletching jig and making sure nothing's going to be moving. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take our actual fletching and put it into the clamp at our desired point where we want it to go. And you're going to want to do it, repeat that for all three of the fletchings that you're putting on the arrow just so everything is all in the same spot on the arrow shaft, uh, which that means just like distance away from the knock. As you see in this video, I'm putting, that in, I'm putting the fletching into the clamp and then after that what you want to do is you want to run some glue down the length of the fletching and you want to be really consistent with that so then uh, not one part of the fletching is going to have more glue than the other and then it'll just it'll kind of mess things up if you do that so you want to get that as consistent as you possibly can. Uh, once you've got the glue on your on your fletching uh, the final thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to, want to place that onto the actual fletching jig magnetically as you can see as I'm doing in this video and then you're going to apply an even pressure, not a lot, but just a little bit of pressure, so all that glue will be able to adhere to the actual uh, to the actual arrow shaft, well, the wrap that's on the arrow shaft. Now, another thing that you can do to help the life of your arrow is you can take a small dab of glue and put it on the front of the fletching and also on the back. And what that does is it helps, it just helps secure the the vein even more onto the actual arrow wrap, and that just helps just kind of keep it in place and a lot of people do that and I normally do that with all my arrows and so if you miss an animal that you're shooting at and it goes into the dirt it doesn't all the grass and sticks and stuff don't just tear the fletchings right off so I would definitely recommend also do that now what you're gonna to want to do is you're gonna to want to repeat that whole process three times and then well counting the first time so two more times and then your arrow will be completely fledged now in this application we did a four or sorry a three fletch vein there is applications where you can do a four fletch, uh, a four fletch as well, and uh, I just normally don't run that, so there's no point in me doing it because I would never use the arrow. Then I'll just have to redo everything. With this particular fletching jig, you can also do a four fletch, but the only thing is you gotta kind of take it apart and put the four fletch module in, and then you're good to go, and you'll be able to fletch four, 
Yeah, I'll be able to do a four fletch. Okay, so to wrap things up, I told you guys everything that you're going to need to build arrows, how to prep the arrows before you build them, how to assemble them, and then just a couple tips that I always use uh, to just kind of secure everything. So just finishing off the arrow, really. But either way, I hope you guys got something from this. And uh, really, with archery, it doesn't matter how good you shoot your bow. At the end of the day, it always comes back to your arrows, and you're always you're only going to be as good as your arrows. But either way, if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. And uh, stay tuned for more. I'm going to be doing a broadhead review sometime in the near future whenever I get time off from wrestling. It takes a, it takes a lot of your time, but it's, it's a blast. But either way, subscribe to the channel and like it, and I'll see you guys in the next one.